Why, hello there, and welcome back to Cardigan Corner. This month, we've taken some more questions from our viewers. Cardigan Man, wherever do you find all your fantastic cardigans? They must cost you a fortune. Sincerely, Curious and Camus. Well, Curious, you'll be happy to know that most of the best ones I find are at second-hand stores. I picked up some for as little as $7. And to my amazement, these cardigans are in somehow near-mint condition. Cardigan people really know how to take care of their wardrobe. Or else, they've sat in the back of someone's closet unworn. But that can't be. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm happy to give them a new home and a second life in a closet full of cardigan friends. Dear Cardigan Man, I notice cardigans more and more now that I watch your show, especially in pop culture and memes. Memes? Memes? Are there any surprising ways cardigans come up for you? Cozy and Corvallis. Hi there, Cozy. So glad you asked. Yes, it's true, it seems the cardigan is making a bit of a comeback these days. And people love to alert me in person and on social media. Here are some of my favorites. On my birthday this year, a friend sent me this hilarious greeting. For your birthday, I got you a cardigan. <laughs> people really seem to love memes these days. This one is from the classic 1994 movie Dumb and Dumber. It shows a police officer saying, pull over, pull over. And the man says, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. <sighs> and finally, the most popular cardigan themed Mimi of all, a spoof of the 1982 Billy Idol song, where they replaced the lyric, start again with cardigan. <laughs> the internet is such a fun place. Well, friends, we hope we've inspired you to do some thrift store shopping and come up with your own cardigan-themed puns. In fact, if you do, why don't you leave it in the comments below? Limit two for Dave. Look forward to seeing you next time at Cardigan Corner.